Week two, we're gonna start out with a basic squat. And break 90 degrees, you can go a little bit deeper, good. Continue to breathe. Notice the with a reverse lunge. Excellent, continue to breathe throughout the entire exercise. Five more, this is a tough one. Very nice. Right now, you should feel those thighs shaking. You should feel a little bit of burning. Last one. Excellent. Nice deep breath. Always take a deep breath in between exercises. Now we're going to do the side lunge, and you're going to hold that adductor. Continue to breathe. Hold your balance. The key is holding your balance on these exercises. Five months. Very nice. And you're holding that, toe pointed up. Really feel that stretch. And then swing in three. Continue to breathe through this exercise. Excellent. Next one. Toe pointed up. Really feel that for support. Very good. Continue throughout the exercise. Think of that elbow. Think of leading with your elbow. Come up just a little higher on the elbow. Excellent. Two more. One more. Good. And switch over to the other side. Excellent. Not only both sides of the muscle, but both sides. Right arm to one. And we're on to the standing overhead press. Get a good base of support. Go a little wider than shoulder width apart with your legs. Good. Slight bend in the knees on this one. You don't want to lock your knees, but uh, you want to have that nice, gentle bend in them. Good. And nice posture, shoulders, back, very nice. Gentle slope to your back, just a gentle touch and control them. Five more. Two more. Last one is the elbow. Keep it up high. Keep the elbow stationary. Do all the work with the arm. These are great for your triceps, back of the arm. Two more. Last one. Excellent. Nice deep. OK, get that elbow fixed right against your side. Good. Continue. Exhale. Inhale on the back. Good. Think about your biceps getting really strong. Touch the elbow on the floor. Control that weight. Very nice. This is great for the chest. Five more. Continue to breathe. One more. And now you can release the weight. Shake those arms out a little bit. Very good, very good. Now we're gonna do the figure four crunch. 10 on the right side, 10 on the left side. Let's bend that right to 90 degrees. Relax that ankle. Again, your right leg is over your left. The left leg is in the abdomen muscles. And so many people think, oh, I'm doing an ab exercise sizes in different weeks. Keep going. Chin straight up, remember, no curve. Keep going. Just take a look. Kelly's working the entire abdomen right now. There's not, so put that chin right on the ceiling. That's what's really gonna make those abdomens work hard. Last one. Okay, very good. Let's move on to basic crunches with your legs straight up in the air. Good. Okay, you can see we're really working Kelly. She's getting tired, and what happens when you're tired? Your knees start to bend a little bit. So let's straighten them out. Excellent. Take a nice deep breath. Let's do the next exercise, which is a reverse crunch. The knees go right into your chest for this exercise. Good. As far, don't extend as far. Kelly's got a really strong back, so she's using that full extension. Extend it out straight, but again, straight means a little natural bend in there. You don't want to, your left leg is just tucked in in a hurdle position. Some of you may not be as flexible as Kelly, and the knee might want to pop up a little bit, but trust me, you do these long enough, and everything will stretch out. You'll make great improvements. Hold these stretches a good five or even better 10 seconds. This is where you really want to enjoy your workout, knowing that you're just about done, and you worked hard, and you feel really good. Nice deep breath, and switch sides. Again, the key to this stretch is that toe being straight up.